Welcome back to Remote Learning. Ms. Bor here. Now for this session, we're going to spend a little time getting ourselves back to the mood of learning. I know you've been away for so long. Some of you have forgotten how some of the apps work. So today, to remind ourselves how Scratch works, we're going to carry out a short activity involving using Scratch to introduce ourselves. We all have Scratch accounts with passwords, but if you can't remember them today, don't worry. We will use Scratch without logging in. And I'm going to show you just how you do that. Good. So as I said, I will take you through how to use Scratch for the sake of those who have forgotten. So to get to your Scratch, you get to Google and in the search box, just type Scratch. Then you press enter and that will bring you to this link. You click Scratch Imagine Program Share. And when you click that, it brings you here. Now, when you come to this part, if you have your login details, then you go to sign in and you type in your username and your password. If you've forgotten them, don't worry, just go straight to start creating. So you click start creating and that brings you here. Now, you have your scratch blocks here, you have the groups, you have your sprite, you have your stage. So as I said, in today's activity, we're going to create an animation to introduce ourselves. You can decide who your characters are, but definitely one of the characters has to be you. So it will be you introducing yourself to someone else. It could be to your classmate, or to your teacher. So the first thing you do is you remove this cut. We don't want the sprites as the cut, so we'll remove that. And then hopefully you have chosen what your sprite is going to be. So Miss Bor is going to have two sprites representing her characters, and I'm going to get them from the library. So I go and click that, and I will choose my sprites. I want one of my sprites to be a girl. And I click on that. And then I go and I click a second sprite. I want that to be a teacher. So I can have that as a teacher. So I have a girl and a once you have your two characters, you have to decide who your two characters are. My two characters are a lady, a girl, and her teacher. So I have to decide what I want them to say to each other. So the teacher is going to start talking first. So what I do is I have to go to my event blocks and I decide when I want them to start talking. So I want them to start talking when the green flag is Wait. So what will the teacher say? So we are starting with the teacher. Sorry, we are starting with the teacher. So I click on the teacher. I go and bring my green flag. And I want the teacher to say good morning. I go to looks so that I get the speech block. And I choose the block that says hello for two minutes. But I'm going to change hello to good morning and to two seconds, maybe to three seconds. That depends on how long you want the wait to be. So I will start with good morning. What is your name? And we will let the girl, we will let the teacher say that for three seconds, meaning we want that to be displayed on the screen for two, for three seconds. After that, we will, the teacher has to wait because the girl has to talk. So we will go to the control tool and we will choose wait. 
and we will make the wait also three seconds because they will be talking for three seconds each. Now, the teacher has said good morning and asked her her name and is waiting for her to speak. Let's just test this program first before we move to the girl. There goes, good morning, what is your name? And it disappears. Then it's time for the girl to speak. So we're going to click on the girl and we're going to start again with the flag. So we go back to events and we bring the flags there. That is the flag so that the girl starts when there's a flag. But remember, when the flag is clicked, the girl has to wait first for the teacher to talk. So you start for the girl, you start with wait. So I will bring wait and we will have three seconds. So then after that, she can go to look. And she can say for three seconds, my name is, so she can also say here, my name is Jana. And she will say that for three seconds. It doesn't have to be three seconds. You have to test your program to see how long is adequate for you. And then she will wait because the teacher is going to talk next. So I will click, put that there, and she will wait for three seconds because the teacher is going to speak next. Now, let us test the program so far. So click the green flag. Good morning. What is your name? And let's see. My name is Jana. Good. Now it's the teacher's turn to speak. So we have to go to the teacher. And we're going to add, after the teacher waits for three seconds, we're going to add a speech block. And the teacher is going to talk again for three seconds. And she's going to probably ask, where do you come from? Where do you come from? Question mark. And then Jana, we're going back to Jana. Jana will wait. She waited three seconds, so she's now going to say, I am from, so she will take that, and she will say, so we will rub hello, and she'll say, I am from Egypt. So let us see. Let's now see how our program looks like. Every time you test your program to see if it works the way you want it to work. So let's click the green flag and let's see. Good morning. What's your name? My name is Jana. Where do you come from? I come from Egypt. Good. So what I want you to remember, the program will look more or less the same you have to remember to wait between each speech block so that the characters do not speak at the same time. Remember, every time you're programming a character, you have to make sure you are at, on the sprite. So if I'm programming the teacher, I have to be on the teacher sprite. If I'm programming the girl, I have to be on the girls' right. When you're done and you have more time, you can go and add a nice background. So the background is here. So you go and click, and it takes you to the library. And where are they? Where is the teacher and the girl? They're in a classroom, probably, or they're in the field. So you look for a background that fits where they are. So. There are many backgrounds. Just look at all that, there all these backgrounds. So you choose the one that you like most. So probably Miss Bor thinks they're in the baseball pitch. Good. So they, they, it's break time and they are in the baseball pitch. So that is my beautiful program. Now, I want you to make your dialogue as long as possible. Make the teacher ask as many questions as she can 
and the student to reply and say more about themselves. Now, remember also, you choose your characters. It doesn't have to be a teacher and a girl. It can be a boy and a teacher. It can be a student and student. So let's see how creative you can be. I